Okay, let's try this again. The first video stopped because my connection was poor. So, there's something I saw this morning. Or this, yeah, this morning. Actually, on in a story of uh, beauty and politics. I follow them on, on Instagram and they uploaded something in their, um, in their story. It was like a screenshot and um, not like a screenshot, it was actually a screenshot. <laughs> okay, and in the screenshot it showed a lot of apparently white people um, that were complaining about a demonstration they, as in beauty and politics, they are organizing. And in the description of their demonstration, they clearly stated that white people uh, like need to keep quiet on that demonstration. They can come and support, but um, talking and uh, whatever is only for um, queer uh, BIPOC. So she was like the people that commented were apparently uh, mostly white people. Because one thing they said, and many of them said that, that, and I quote, we can only fight racism together, okay? So, I want to quickly explain why this is problematic and why it's racist and why it's, it's, it speaks by privilege and why it's not the right thing to say. If a queer black person um, organizes a demonstration to um, make, create awareness for their own struggle, for the struggle that uh, queer black people suffer from globally, and they clearly state that white people need to stay in the background, need to observe, need to shut up and listen. Then you, as a white person, are doing exactly what they ask you not to do. You are being a bloody racist and exactly like that, full stop. There is no... And then things like, I'm not racist, but I'm not going to help matters at all. Okay, why? So as much as I'm trying to understand the intention behind someone saying we can only change things together, together, the together in this is what drives me insane. Now, let's look at racism, okay? Racism was founded by the white man for the sole purpose of colonizing Africa, enslaving Africans and exploiting the resources ensuring the continuous exploitation of the resources over hundreds of years. Racism is a construct that the white man um, invented to make himself look superior, which he literally isn't, as in there are so much, there's so much scientific evidence that proves that white people are everything but superior to black people. But that's a video for another day altogether, okay? Now, now we are in 2021 and then some white people have the audacity, caucasity to say that 2020 was the year of awakening. Like what kind of awakening are we talking about? Are we talking about awakening because you're finally realize that black people are suffering from racism still? Or are we talking about awakening because the media finally carried it globally? However, 2020 was nothing. As in like 2020 didn't do shit. Um, well, I'm not saying this as a black person because I'm apparently not. I'm saying this from my own perspective of things. 2020 didn't do shit for um, for equity, for evil, for, for human rights, for lesser evil by, by the government, for lesser oppression. The only thing 2020 actually did is carry something in the media that has been going on for literally 600 years at least so when we are talking about year of awakening as white people it literally says that throughout our existence or at least throughout the last 600 years we have not been listening we have not been listening and we have not been paying attention because if we actually did listen and did pay attention then we knew that the things black people have been saying in 2020 are things that they have been saying ever since 1444. This is nothing new. Anything that was said and done and happened in the media 2020 is nothing new to black people. And then white people are like, wow, racism is going to end? all over the media globally wow we have achieved something and black people are 
are literally like I can literally see black people looking at us like look at these damn fools we've been telling them these things for the last 600 years and now that your white ass media carried it globally you're talking about year of awakening okay that one apart now let's look at safe spaces by black people for black people i'm well aware of the fact that the demonstration is a public something that happens on public ground and you cannot totally exclude white people from participating and the funny thing is they never said that white people shouldn't come they said you can come and support but you need to stay back and shut up at least for once in your privileged ass life still that one became a problem for the white people and they now claim that this is not how you solve racism point one how in the world do you we as white people know how the fuck you want to solve racism because racism is not a problem that you can argue about and solve it because everybody comes to a mutual understanding racism is a damn system that we created for the sole purpose of exploitation and oppression and then you as a white person have the audacity to sit down and be like we can only change things together no the fuck we can't no no okay when you tell black people that the only way we can change racism is by working together you are trivializing their struggle you are trivializing their work you are trivializing their activism their whole resistance their being their knowledge their work their everything they have been doing to work for the liberation of the black nation globally racism is not never ever a black person's or a person of color's problem racism is solely the problem and this the solution to find black people have no hand in the existence of racism they don't enforce it they don't keep it alive they didn't invent it they have nothing beneficial from the system of racism so tell me why the fuck you would tell a black person that the only thing that can change racism is if we are working together. I feel like strangling your goddamn neck. How in the world will you tell the person that's oppressed by your privilege that the only thing that gives them freedom is working hand in hand with their oppressor? No, the fuck it is not. Oh my God. I can't even believe that somebody will open their mouth and demand black people to work hand in hand with the oppressor. Why would you open your mind and tell black people, open your mouth and tell black people, oh, mm, I'm socially on the side of the oppressor. I directly benefit from your poverty, from your oppression, from everything that keeps you in shackles. Let it be mentally, physically, um, well, not physically like that, but economically, socially, whatever. I benefit from anything that keeps you down, but we should be working hand in hand. It, I swear with every inch of, of my body if, I, if I'm beaten up on the road and you tell me the only way the person that did that to me is going to get justice by walking hand in hand with them I will find that person and I will kill them and I will hand myself in because there is no way in hell I'm ever going to walk hand in hand with somebody that hurts me and black people have been hurt by white people by the average white person and before you lose your fucking mind keep in mind I'm white so that one apart they have been hurt by our ignorance by our silence by our i don't see color mentality for the last 600 years black people have not a single thing to do with white people especially not when it comes to working hand in hand to solve a problem that they have no hand in its existence or its invention so when white people demand black people to work together or to include white people it's literally the white privilege speaking you're telling the victim of oppression to go hand in hand with the person that enforces and enables their oppression on a daily basis and you're not even ashamed about it you're not even ashamed to let your white privilege be spilling all over the place like that because you think i'm not racist because <laughs> in 
insert whatever dumb ass stupid Caucasian stereotype you want to bring up. Uh, your cousin's neighbor is black. Uh, your oh you have you have a black cleaning lady at work. Oh your boss is black. Oh your landlord is black. Oh your lawyer back in that grade was black. We don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck about how many black people you have in your life, and that's never an excuse for you to not be racist because you cannot be white in a system of racism and not be racist that's plain and simply not possible so when you see black people organizing demonstrations safe spaces workshops empowerment rooms whatever for themselves and you have nothing to contribute financially or you're using your platform to promote their event then you need to shut the fuck up you need to shut the fuck up i'm not even i'm, I'm I, you need to shut the fuck up because you are not going to help them by intruding an event that was not meant for you by invading a space that's not meant for you and that's not necessary for you either because we are not socially oppressed we don't need no safe spaces the world is literally our safe space because the world is whitewashed so you don't need anything to make you safe because we are safe anyway and yes you're safe in South America you're safe in South Africa you're safe even in countries where you're minorities whiteness is never threatened in no way your life is never threatened in no situation in no country in no society only because you're white and I'm not talking about individual threats maybe there are areas I'm certain there are areas where white people are not wanted and are not going to be welcomed but I'm not welcoming nobody that has a history of oppression, slavery, kidnapping, killing, murdering, invading of hundreds of years. I'm not going to welcome anybody like that in my own house. If I know you are a serial killer, I'm not going to give you no fucking benefit of the doubt because you could have been different. I'm staying the hell away from you. So if white people stay the hell away from black people, uh, vice versa, if black people stay the hell away from white people, it's not necessarily because they hate white people for the sole fact they are white. They are trying to protect themselves. They are trying to be safe. Because I've said this before and it's it's fucking painful. It's fucking painful to admit that, but closing my eyes to the truth doesn't help. So, I'm well aware of the fact that my own husband is not safe with me socially my own children are not safe with me socially not because i'm not going to open my mouth when they encounter encounter racism that's not the point the point is that my whiteness does not extend to my family my whiteness doesn't uh extend my white privilege doesn't extend to them they are not going to get the benefit of the doubt because his husband his wife is white or their mother is white they are still going to be treated the exact same way that everybody else is being treated <clears throat> sorry so when it comes to the situation when everything boils down and we are being controlled by the police for example i mean in in germany police brutality is different than in america okay but no policeman is going to give my husband the benefit of the doubt not searching him not racially profiling him only because his wife is white that's not going to happen so my whiteness cannot protect the people i love the most my whiteness is a threat to their safety because at any given moment i could technically put my husband my own husband in danger by claiming things he has never done and would never done to me and I am going to be believed simply because I'm white and he is going to be doubted simply because he's black and that's the danger of white tears so when you as a white person intrude conversations spaces workshops uh, demonstrations as a white person and you have nothing to offer then your whiteness you are being a fucking threat to their safety at all given times and you claiming 
that the only solution to racism is for black and white people to work hand in hand you are trivializing everything black people have ever done to escape the oppression of the white man so that being said white people we have so much to take care of so many other white people to, to put in order a whole system to dismantle not in germany only in every predominantly white country the system needs to be abolished police needs to be defunded um laws need to be thrown over laws need to be changed rewritten systems need to be rebuilt black people organizing demonstrations for only black people is not our fucking problem it's not even it shouldn't even have any space up here but still we are all over the place breaking our heads over somebody's headache instead of for us to take paracetamol for our own headache we've been denying, denying our own headache for the last 600 years it's time we 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 it's time for accountability for responsibility it's time for us to acknowledge 600 years of collective guilt on our shoulders because i'm not saying that every white person is bad i am well aware of the fact that not every white person is bad on a personal and individual level but every white person is bad because every white person systematically because every white person benefits from the system every white person is going to be safe before the police, in front of the police, before a black person is safe in front of the police. Every white person is never ever going to be threatened. It's never ever going to be threatened for the sole fact that they are white. No white person is ever, ever going to fear for their life systematically because they are white. Never. No, nowhere in history has that ever been the case. No time in history where white lives have never mattered and me seeing all these fellow white people intruding conversations they are not supposed to be part of i wish somebody would take the internet away from you fuckers because you don't even deserve the privilege of having a damn phone you should be locked up in a cage somewhere and thrown into the ocean hmm. the fact that we are denying racism is exactly racism we are denying something that we have no idea how it feels and no no barbara margaret kevin and sebastian you are not suffering from racism because somebody called you alman or potato or cracker or kringo i have recently learned that there is there is one useless american uh, south american white guy on tiktok that claims that white people have it so hard in southern america because they are being called kringos i'm not i'm not sure if i'm even saying this correctly but um that they are suffering because of their whiteness because uh of the society that's the society the white man forced on people like good morning like when people call you kringo they are not calling you that because you're such a bad white person they are associating the system of whiteness and white supremacy to you individually that might not be right on one hand because a lot of a lot of white people are judged unfairly because they are actually not bad i've been judged unfairly unfairly because black people are like oh you are just another white girl you know but they are right in saying that because they've been abused by the average white person for such a long time in most, in most cases even all their lives so when you as a white person want a black person to trust you and they tell you oh i don't want to be close to you because you're white and the next thing that comes into your mind is a racial slur you are a fucking bloody racist and you don't deserve no black person's trust and if you want any black person to trust you you prove yourself not once not twice not thrice 10 times 20 times over and over again until these people know they are safe with you and even at that they will still have in mind that you are not that they are not safe with you because your tears can at any moment be a danger to the to their life let that sink in for a second let it sink in that people you love some of you watching me you have white family members you have white mothers you have white siblings you have white partners and deep down you might know that these white people in your life that you're so dear to that you love so much can be a threat to your safety how do you as a white person think that feels 
growing up in a white society that does not want you growing up among white people that might love you but are still not aware of their privileges because they were socially radicalized or ra ra raised to be racist simply because the system they were born into and socialized into tells them to how do you as a black person keep your sanity do not sorry i got a call so that being said i just want to keep this here as a reminder to white people not every conversation is for us and if you cannot contribute financially or um with your with your with your platform with your knowledge um to help do paperwork or organize certain things or be of help when it comes to connecting black people to whatever they need to make their work known and public then you are in shit and you need to shut the fuck up and stay out of conversations like this so there's this song <laughs> when it says stay in your bum ass place as white people we need to stay back we need to stay back when it comes to black conversations and we need to take care of all these white conversations that we are not having out of our own comfort these conversations are on our shoulders and they should never be on the shoulders of a black person no black person should be challenging racists white supremacists whoever at their workplace in their privacy in their private life wherever that should be our job and if you cannot take up that responsibility man go fuck yourself i'm sorry but some of y'all be so loud shouting blm but at the next available situation tell black people how you have to walk walk hand in hand uh, to make racism disappear as if it's some magic or something that you can just take and throw away and dump it at one corner like they set it on fire and it has the problem has, ha, ha, has solved itself that's not how it works guys and black people have been telling us for 600 years that this is not how it works yet we are all dumb and ignorant and not listening because we simply do not care because at this point I cannot find any other solution or any other explanation for white people to know that racism is a problem because it's literally all over the place and then still not do something about it if it is not for carelessness and that's a crime ignoring racism is a crime being racist is a crime upholding the racist system is a crime benefiting from white supremacy should be a crime this thing should be treated as crimes we have to get to a point where racism is treated as a crime that you fear for your dear life and your your reputation and everything you have ever worked for if you try and just dare be there to be the tiniest bit of racist at your workplace or wherever right now people are just blatantly racist because they know and it, nothing is going to happen anyway so how in the world are we going to stop the system change the system if we are not even ready to challenge our very own racist within so if you're white 